Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these beautiful baby booties. They're for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. I made them to match the little set that I showed you for little girls using the Crystal Waves Crochet Stitch pattern, which includes the matching little hat, the matching coat or jacket, and the matching overalls. In the information box below, I'll go ahead and leave you the links to these tutorials, and I will also leave some information on how you can make them smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out and as always if you prefer a written pattern check out my Etsy shop I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below thank you so much for your support now to make these cute little booties this is the yarn that I used it's DK weight yarn I used pink and white in total for each one of the booties you're going to need about 18 grams 13 grams in pink and 4 grams in white you will need less or more depending on the size that you're making okay let's get started but don't forget all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish don't forget to subscribe activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that YouTube can recommend my videos and if you like this tutorial please hit that like button Thanks so much for watching! To begin, I'll be using this 3mm crochet hook and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. You can also use any number 3 yarn or 8 ply. Now at the beginning of the video, I showed you the yarn that I'm using and I told you how much yarn we're going to need for the baby shoes that we're going to make here in this tutorial. So here to begin, I have 12 chains into the third chain from the hook, 1, 2, 3, into this third chain here, make a half double crochet half double crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next, and so on. This is all we're going to do here. Make sure that you're only going through the first loop here of the chain because once we finish this side, we're going to come back around the other side and do the same thing. So make sure to only go through the front loop here of the chain. I have one last chain. So far I have, let's see, we have two, four, six, eight, nine half double crochets, not counting the two chains that we left here. So now into this last chain, I'm going to make seven half double crochets. So insert your hook, that's one, seven half double crochets. Now along the other side of the chain, beginning into the next stitch here, make a half double crochet and continue until you have nine half double crochets for this other side. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these nine half double crochets along this other side. Now we have the two chains here that were left when we started. So into this next chain, make sure you go through both loops like this, insert your hook, and here you're going to make seven half double crochets. That's one, seven. Now to finish this first row, go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the first row. You should have a total of 32 half double crochets. We have nine here for this side, then we did seven, nine here, and then seven. So that's a total of 32 stitches. Now for the second row, chain two. These two chains do not count. Beginning into this first stitch where we joined, make a double crochet. Here I'm going to make a total of nine double crochets. That's two. nine there now into the next seven stitches this is what we're going to do we're going to make two double crochets into each one of these seven half double crochets beginning into the next make two double crochets into the next that's three and four into the next five and six into the next seven, eight, into the next nine, 
10 into the next 11 12 and into the next 13 and 14 there we have 14 double crochets here for the center now continue and make one double crochet into the next nine half double crochets so continue and i'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to work the center part on the other side I finished making these nine double crochets along this side we have two four six eight nine into the next seven half double crochets we're going to make two double crochets so beginning into the next stitch make two double crochets into the next three and four into the next five and six into the next seven and eight into the next nine and ten into the next eleven and twelve and into the last thirteen and fourteen now to finish this second row go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finish the second row at the end of this row you should have a total of 46 stitches we have nine here for this side 14 9 and 14 so that's a total of 46 stitches now cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop i already had cut my yarn so this part here is done this is the sole of the baby booties now what you're going to do next is you're going to make three more each booty is going to have two pieces so like this you can just make one that would be up to you so what we're going to do next is we're going to join both pieces together so this here is the right side and here's the back so we're going to put back to back like this now before you continue you need to hide your ends i already did this here here we're going to mark the center for this part and here also so to do this we have these 14 stitches so count seven that's two four six seven place a stitch marker same thing for this one two four six seven place a stitch marker between the seventh and the eighth and repeat the same thing for this other side we have two four six seven put a stitch marker two four six seven there now for this side you should have 23 stitches and on this side 23 as well so here to begin it doesn't matter which end you're just going to go into this next stitch after the stitch marker and through the second piece insert your hook here now i'm going to be using this pink yarn these baby booties i'm making them to match the little crystal waves set that i showed you recently i know many of you commented and asked that i showed you how to make the baby booties um, this one here it's this one here with the crystal waves little cardigan and the crystal waves um, romper or overalls so these are the matching booties for that i already have a matching baby hat and a blanket for that as well so here to continue chain two right into this same stitch here through both um, pieces insert your hook and make a double crochet now into the next two stitches a double crochet and a double crochet into the next two and this is how we're going to continue to join both pieces all around just make one double crochet through this piece and through the second piece here in the back at the end of this first row you're going to be left with 46 stitches which is the same number of stitches we had in the second row here of the sole continue like this all around i will meet you here at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this first row i have 46 double crochets we have joined the two pieces together so now you can remove the stitch marker here this was just to mark the center uh, since from now on this is going to be the back and here's going to be the front so to finish this first row just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch and here's the first row with 46 double crochets now for the second row chain two now beginning into this first stitch which is the same one we joined to make a double crochet a double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next and so on 
For this row, this is all we're going to do. Just double crochets all around. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we did double crochets all around. I have 46 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And here's the second row. Now, in the third row, we're going to start to reduce this part here of the front of the booty. Here, you're going to mark 13 stitches for this side. Then we have 20 stitches for the front and then 13 stitches here. So to do the third row, we're going to chain two and right into the same stitch here, make your first double crochet. Here I'm going to work these 13 double crochets. So that's one, thirteen. Now we have the next 20 stitches. Here we're going to decrease and we're going to make double crochet two together. So beginning into the next stitch after the stitch marker, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over again and into the next stitch, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. into the next two, repeat the same thing. And this is how we're going to work this center part of the booty. There. Here you should have 10 stitches now. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. Now continue along and work one double crochet into the next 13 stitches. I'm here at the end of the third row. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now at the end of this third row, you should have a total of 36 stitches, 13 plus 13 plus 10. So that's a total of 36 stitches at the end of this third row. Now for the fourth row, I have moved my stitch markers. Here we're going to mark 11 stitches on this side. Then we're going to mark 14 stitches here for the center. And here on this other side, we have 11 stitches. So for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and right into this first stitch, which is the same one that we joined to, make a double crochet. Here I'm going to make 11 double crochets. So that's two. Eleven. Now we have the next 14 stitches. We're going to work double crochet two together. So yarn over and beginning into the next stitch, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now into the next two, same thing, a double crochet decrease. So that's two. Seven. So here for the center part, you should be left with seven stitches. Now we have the last 11 stitches. So make one double crochet into each one of these last 11 double crochets. Continue. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. At the end of this row, I have 29 stitches. We have 11 stitches along this side. We have seven stitches for the front and 11 stitches here on this other side. So that's a total of 29 stitches at the end of this fourth row. To finish this row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row five, we're going to chain two. In this row, we're just going to make double crochets all around. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, 
double crochet on top of the next and so on here we're just going to work double crochets all around like i said and at the end of this row we're also going to be left with 29 double crochets continue like this i will meet you at the end of this fifth row I'm here at the end of this fifth row. In this row, we did double crochets all around. I have a total of 29 double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row six, we're going to chain two. In this row, we're going to make front post and back post double crochets. Beginning into this first double crochet, work a front post double crochet. Into the next, a back post double crochet. Into the next, front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet and so on continue like this all around just making front post and back post double crochets i'll meet you at the end of this sixth row i'm here at the end of the sixth row in this row we did front post and back post double crochets i have 29 stitches now to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for row seven chain one in this row we're going to make single crochets all around so beginning into the first stitch make a single crochet into the next a single crochet and so on Continue like this all around, just making single crochets. At the end of this seventh row, we're going to have 29 single crochets. I'll meet you here at the end. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. In this row, we did single crochets. I have 29. Now to finish, go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for row eight, we're going to begin the pattern. So here, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go into the next single crochet right here and make a single crochet. Now you can put a stitch marker here where I did this chain. This is the chain that we're going to join to with a slip stitch at the end of each row. So here we're going to now chain two and right into this same stitch where I did the single crochet, make three double crochets. Now skip three single crochets, one, two, three, and into the fourth, make a single crochet, two chains, three double crochets. Again, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth single crochet, make a single crochet, two chains, three double crochets into this same stitch. Now this is how I'm going to continue all around. If you want to change yarn color here for the cuff of the booty, you can. This is how it's going to look once it's done. I'm going to do mine all in pink, and then at the end, I'm going to do one row in white. But if you want to do this part here in a different color, you can. Continue like this for this eighth row. I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this eighth row. I have a total of seven of these shells. Now here at the end, I have three single crochets left. I'm going to skip these three, and I'm going to go right into the chain space that I did here. That's the first chain that we did. Remember I told you? So right to the side, I'm going to go in there and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the eighth row with seven shells. Now for the ninth row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now this ninth row is the row that we're going to repeat from here on. So you just chain one, turn. Now we have the first shell, we have three double crochets and a chain two space. Into the second double crochet of this first shell, make a front pull single crochet. Now remember this chain here that we did at the beginning. That's where you're going to join to at the end of each row. Now chain two and right into the chain two space of this first shell, make three double crochets. We have the second shell into the second double crochet, make a front post single crochet, two chains, and into the chain two space, three double crochets. And this is how you're going to work each one of the shells. Now continue like this for this ninth row. I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the ninth row. I have seven shells. Now to finish, you always go here to the side where we have this chain and join with a slip stitch. Now from here on, like I said, this is the row that we're going to repeat for the rest of the cuff here. So for row 10, I'm going to start you off. You just chain one and turn. We have the first shell here into the second double crochet, 
make a front pull single crochet two chains and into the chain two space of this same shell make three double crochets we have the second shell into the second double crochet make a front pull single crochet two chains and into the chain two of this same shell make three double crochets into this chain two space and that's how you're going to continue all around which is the same thing we did in the ninth row now to finish the row you just go here to the side where we have the chain join with a slip stitch chain one turn and then repeat the same thing now for this part here for the cuff I did a total of let's see seven rows in the same color and then for the eighth row I changed to white so we have one two three four five six seven yes so seven rows continue make these seven rows and then I'm going to come back and show you the last row I finished making these seven rows here we have one two three four five six seven now here at the end I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop so here we're going to make one more row and I'm going to use this white yarn so here insert your hook into the same stitch that we joined to grab a loop chain one and turn we have the first shell into the second double crochet make a front post single crochet two chains and into the chain two make three double crochets the rest is the same how you work this part here so continue finish this last row and then i'll come back and show you the finished booties i finished making this last row here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done now in total we did seven rows here and then the last row the eighth row here i did it in white so the booties are all done you can also just weave a ribbon here all around if you like and you can just fold the cuff like this or wear them as little boots that would be up to you so the booties are all done these booties are for babies between three and six months and I made them to match this beautiful little set which includes the matching little cardigan sweater the little hat and the little overalls in the information box below I'll go ahead and leave you the link to these tutorials so be sure to check that out and as always if you prefer a written pattern check out my Etsy shop I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below thank you so much for your support now this was today's tutorial I hope you like it Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.